Avilio. Welcome wizards, witches, and nomads. My name's David Sicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day and visiting my channel, Wands and Reviews. Lita Lestrange was a French-British pure-blood witch, and on her mother's side, Lita had a half-brother named Yusuf. Upon learning, the Kama family had sworn on an unbreakable vow Corvus Lestrange Sr. sent his servant, Irma Dugard, Lita Lestrange, and her infant half-brother to America. Bothered by the constant crying, Lita Lestrange switched her younger brother with another baby in a nearby cabin. But the ship sank, and Lita was distraught over the unintentional death of her half-brother, Corvus Lestrange. Lita Lestrange attended Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, where she was sorted into Slytherin House and was often the target of bullying due to the gossip of her being an unwanted child and the students' awareness of the possible death of her half-brother. One day, she encountered Newt Scamander while searching for a place to hide and they developed a remarkable close relationship, and they became best friends. And one day, Newt was given a month's detention for being a little cheeky to Professor Pendergast, so Lita set off a dung bomb under the professor's desk just so that she could be punished and spend time with her one and only friend. Later on, one of Lita's experiments, evolving a Jarvi, went a little too far and endangered the life of another student. Rather than see his good friend expelled, Newt's commander took the blame and thus was sentenced to be expelled from Hogwarts in Lita's place. Newt's commander loved Lita Lestrange, and after graduating Hogwarts, he kept a picture of her in his suitcase. But Lita fell in love with Newt's older brother, Theseus, and they planned to be wed, asking Newt to be the best man at their wedding. Alongside Newt, Theseus, and Bunty, Newt's assistant, Lita Lestrange participated in a book launch for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. But the day after, Spellbound, published an edition, wrongfully captioning a photograph from the event, leading to a misunderstanding that Lita was Newt's fiance. Upon Theseus' advice, Lita began working at the British Ministry of Magic. And during a visit to the French Ministry of Magic, Theseus told Lita about a rumor that was spreading that Credence Barebone could be her long-lost stepbrother, which Lita denied. Theseus agreed with her that her brother was dead, but urged her to go check the Lestrange family records just to be certain, because documents never lie. On her way down to the records room, she ran into Newt Scamander and Tina Goldstein, who were also looking for the box. Together, they discovered that the box had been taken to the Lestrange Mausoleum. Upon arrival at the Lestrange Mausoleum, Lita Lestrange, Newt Scamander, and Tina Goldstein crossed paths with the nomads Jacob Kowalski, Yusuf Kama, Credence Barebone, and Nagini. Lita had to stop her half-brother Yusuf from fulfilling his vow under the mistaken impression that Credence was really Corvus Lestrange the Fifth. She confessed to inadvertently killing Corvus, proving he and Credence were not the same person and that Lita had no idea who Credence actually was. The conversation 
was interrupted as a door opened in which Gellert Grindelwald's rally was about to begin. Gellert Grindelwald shared his approach to non-magic folk and shared his views for the greater good. And upon seeing auras led by Theseus Scamander enter the mausoleum, he ordered all of those who came to see and hear him to disapparate and spread his vision to the rest of the world. As they did, Grindelwald created a circle of blue flame around him, and only his true followers could cross that blue flame. Credence Barebone and Queenie Goldstein both crossed over while those against Grindelwald burned. Lita approached, seemingly about to join Grindelwald's cause, but it was a distraction in the effort to give Theseus, Newt, Tina, Jacob, Yusuf, and Nagini time to get away. She looked over to both Newt and Theseus and said, I love you. With a powerful spell, Lita destroyed Grindelwald's skull hookah, exploding it and knocking over Vinda Rossier, who then disapparated as Lita was being engulfed by the flames. The Noble Collection has reproduced the wand of Lita Lestrange, and today I would like to share it with you. Here is the wand for Lita Lestrange, reproduced by the Noble Collection. Made from ebony with an unknown core, this wand measures in at 13.75 inches in total length. The wand has a sovereign design to it. The thin, sleek black shaft of this wand has a spiral twisted handle that some have speculated Lita Lestrange added the metal embellishments to while attending Hogwarts. It is unknown if this is true or not. Lita's Slytherin ambition granted her an immense willpower and skill. The wand fits comfortably in the hand and it's easy to cast spells with, as Lita has demonstrated on several occasions. This is truly the wand of someone who has grown to become selfless. The wand of Lita Lestrange from the Noble Collection. Lita's wand is nice. However, as stated by Pierre Bohanna, Lita made some aesthetic choices as she matured. The wand that you had as a kid isn't necessarily the wand you want when you're older. What does that mean? Was Lita ashamed of her wand for the spells that she cast upon others while she was younger? I'm not sure what Pierre meant by this. What do you think it refers to? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I really like Lita Lestrange's wand. I think that the Noble Collection did an excellent job in reproducing it. And if you would like to add Lita Lestrange's wand to your own collection, you can do so by purchasing it directly from the Noble Collection website. I'll leave a link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this wand video review today. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my channel? I really do appreciate it. And remember to share this video with your family and all of your friends. Thank you, and have a pleasant day.